All right, New York. Um, this is my RLDI unit. It's a four stage, I believe. Um, I bought it second hand. I bought a TDS meter for it. New cartridges and then, you know filters and everything. Um, the first stage is the sediment. Seconds the carbon. Thirds the DI. Um, up on top here, this is my wastewater line, the yellow line has a flush kit I guess I don't know if I need it or I should do away with it maybe you can help me out on that one in this YouTube here is the bypass once it's closed it goes through the flow restrictor and then out to waste um, when I open it it bypasses the loop and runs it straight and flushes out the membrane I don't know like I said if it's good or not um, here's the pump um, my situation is it's pumping it went from 60 psi all the way up to almost 120 once i hooked up the pump and then the water coming out the good water just drips doesn't flow out like yours i'm not sure if it's because my membrane's a 50 gallon per day and yours was a 90 i believe i don't know if that has any thing to play with but uh the way it's set up is my water's coming in through the black line here which is connected to the tds meter the in um goes through the sediment filter out the sediment filter into my carbon filter and then out of the carbon filter into the pump which goes into the membrane goes through the membrane comes out the back here goes through my rodi I mean the DI comes into the DI and then it flows out and uh, I mean I was expecting more water flow than that here's the water flow coming out of the wastewater and then you got drips coming out of the good water I'm not sure if it's normal maybe I have something set up wrong here um, if there's anything else you would like to look at or have me video, just let me know. But that's pretty much the basic of how all this is set up. I mean, it's pretty much ran through loops. And I kind of have it set up the way you had it set up with the pump running to the membrane. You know, coming out of the carbon filter through the pump into the membrane and then through the ROD, the DI and out. So uh, if there's anything I might have done wrong, please let me know. I'm trying to get this situated. It takes forever to make water. This is my 35-gallon uh, drum. It took me nearly a week to fill up before I got the pump. Actually, it was over a week. And uh, I used only 10 gallons out of it already. But I'm um, trying to see how long it takes to fill up this 5-gallon jug here. Um, just let me know. Appreciate it. Thanks.